If you're looking for some software that can slow down your content or upscale it or fix the audio, check out this intro, then we're gonna talk about it. One of the things with AI video is the main, the quality. Now, some of the models now, yes, they are bringing it up to 1080p, but if you want to get it upscaled to something like 4K or 2K, something better, just make it a little bit sharper and crisper. Piece of software that people go to is Topaz's Video AI, which is quite expensive. It's looking at the moment at just a dollar short of $300 to get 12 months upgrade now there is a new kid on the block they reached out to me said would i like to try the software and i've done so and it's aiRT video enhancer now this software if you take a look at the price in here you can get the standard license for 79 dollars on offer at the moment that gives you access to one pc or mac you got a 30 day money guarantee etc or you can go for the lifetime license it's half the price of Topaz and it does a really good job. Now you saw the little intro there. I did those upgrades with this software. And like I said, with this version, you've got 30% off and you do get the AI image enhancer one year license chucked in for free as well. Now, how good is it? The interface is nice and simple. If you're, you know, a pro working for TV, BBC, or whoever, you know, you might want to go for the more expensive package, but for most people, this is going to be ideal for you. You've got three different AI models. We've got the Mo, more detail, Mo detail, it's called HQ version two. And say, if I went on that one, we can get them up to 4K resolution or custom resolutions. Now, I have found with AI content, the best one to use is the Super Video HQ. Now that upscales it by two times. So if the footage is, let's say 720 by 1280, we're gonna get a 2K output, which if you put on a 4K timeline, is gonna look really good. It's super simple to use. I'm gonna drag this piece of AI footage into here and what it will do is i want to get a preview of it once the preview's done we can see what it's going to do now like i've said to you if we use a more detailed one it goes a little bit too cartoony for my liking so like i said the best one i think to use for ai content is a super video hq vhq sorry and you'll see the difference it looks just a little bit more natural looking and we've got those details looking crispier already now with any of these types of software they are quite hungry on your system i'm using to do this video a mac m1 my m4 mac there's a problem with it at the moment so i'm back on this one and to do these videos, which are around seven seconds long, I think they are, it's taking probably about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to do one. Now, what I usually do with anything like this, if I'm doing some rendering uh, or changing the resolutions or bringing the, you know, the, the frame rate down to, you know, make it slow motion, I leave them running through the night and then I come back in the morning, batched all my batches are done and I'm ready to start doing my edits. Now as well, you can do um, slow motion if you want to. So frame interpolation, we can take it all the way up to 120 frames if we want to, or we can just click on that and it will make you a slow motion file as well. Now you can also, I haven't tried this one yet, 
but you can also do an audio de denoise as well if you've got some crackly cra uh, crackly tracks etc it's going to fix all that for you don't take my word for it on any of these um videos i produce go and try it yourself i'm just giving you my review of how it works for me or you know the things i do that make my life easier um it's up to you as well to go and try it out but it does do a really good job the slow motion footage as i'm playing now great it is really great for doing that or like i said if you go to the and um, take that one off and then render it out at 120 frames it add the frame it it add it adds the frames into your video footage as well again these renders do take a long while to do especially if it's a big video file you know like five ten minutes or whatever this one is a definite win and the pricing is really competitive compared to one of the other main contenders out there which is topaz now you can just drag all these um videos onto a 4k timeline and hope for the best but it is best i think to get the video upscaled first to something more you know professional looking minimum of 2k in my opinion and then do your outputs you do get a better finish as you can see from the little clips i've been running through this video it does work well i'll leave the link down below if you want to try it yourself and we will see you in the next video guys